You are watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, how small improvements to your smile can make a big difference. With us, we have Arizona's dentist, Dr. Sullivan. Dr. Sullivan, welcome to the program. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Now, before we get into today's topic, for people that don't know you, you know, where are you located? What are the procedures you do? And who's the typical patient? Oh, okay. We're in Pine Top, Arizona. I've been there for 23 years. And it's hard to say I have a typical patient, but I do have a lot of retired people and, okay. and then a lot of families. Those would probably be the biggest two groups. And we do all aspects of dentistry from bleaching to tooth colored fillings to extractions, uh, root canals, all the little things we do to call ourselves general dentists. Now, under one roof, I mean, you work with specialists as well. Yeah, I'm lucky that I have an orthodontist, an oral surgeon and a root canal specialist that come in a day or two a week. Okay, you have a nice smile, by the way. First thing, you know, because we, we talked on the phone and you made it sound like the smile was so important. I always think you guys are exaggerating, but I couldn't help but think, you know, when you walk in that smile already, I'm going, I like this guy, you know? Well, thank you. But but it's nice to see a dentist with a nice smile. Yeah, you know, the only thing I wish I had done it sooner than when I did. <laughs> I did it about eight or 10 years ago. The patients say that, I think you're making a joke, but, but patients say that. Every, I I patient, every patient says, doc, this is beautiful. I wish I'd done this years ago. Okay. All right. Now, again, the procedures you do. I mean, I know that you do laser procedures. You do lumineers. I'll let you tell the story. So what are the different things you do? Well, uh, as far as cosmetically, we do bleaching for sure. We okay. do lumineers, which are lab-made veneers, and they're a very high-end, custom-made product. Gives you an excellent, excellent result. But we also do some of these affordable things called same-day smiles. They're same pretty, day smiles? Yeah, yes. Yeah, so you can walk out three hours later with a great smile. So it's like a snap on well, that's, smile? That's or is what, that something different? That's something different. That's made at a lab and that takes about a week to get. The, the, the same day smile, we have the veneers in our office and we customize them and bond them onto your teeth. You walk out with that smile that day. Is that right? And it's huge. It, it, you, you look tremendously better in one visit. And it's much more affordable than the lumineers and the other custom veneers are. So you also use lasers in your practice. How? Well, we use them to remove unhealthy tissue. Okay. That would be diseased tissue. And also to uh, cut down the amount of bacteria so that teeth are periodontally more healthy. And patients benefit by that tremendously. It's leading edge, and but we're able to do it because our practice is very leading edge. We're always gonna use the best technology we can find. So how important is a smile? As you see, I mean, you're a dentist, you probably think it's very important. Oh, Randy, it's everything. Okay. You have okay. to have a great smile. Everyone should have a beautiful smile. It opens doors wherever you go. In school, right. in your relationships, in jobs, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you have to have a great smile. Okay. It's extremely important. Now, now we're talking about affordable ways to give you a good smile. Okay, so what are the categories then of cosmetic dentistry? That's a great question because there's some new things on the market that are sensitive to the economics going on in the world today. People don't have as much disposable income, but we sure have answers for you. We have bleaching, we have um, same day smile, which I've been doing quite a bit of. Those are prefabricated veneers that look great and I can customize them and put them on your teeth in about a three hour period. Okay, okay. okay. And, and then we also have snap-on smile, especially if you're missing a tooth, and they fit over your existing teeth, and they fit very snugly and tightly. You can function with them, eat, talk, and they look beautiful. The snap-on smile, so they just go over your go, regular goes teeth. goes right, like a cover. Are these people with small teeth, though? I mean, is that who it works best for? It, 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 you the snap-on smile? Yeah, they would always make your teeth a tiny bit larger, but they're very small in size, and there's, there's not a lot of bulk to them. And what do you call those? Snap on smile. So you can have this beautiful smile yeah. and just snaps over yeah. your regular teeth. Yeah. And the lab. Very interesting. Yeah. And um, it's, it's a new innovation. It hasn't been around that long, but they're just beautiful. And um, I'm excited to do them because it's affordable. Okay. You know, I have an answer for people who want to look better and it doesn't involve huge costs. And so, you know, within a week they can look great. And, and they'll, they'll do them for a wedding or a class reunion or some, some type of event. All of a sudden that might spark them to come in and all of a sudden you have an answer for them. Your patients are really happy when you can do that. 
Okay, what, what else? What other cosmetic procedures well, are you doing? Well, going up um, to more sophisticated lumineers, which are made at a laboratory and fit over your teeth, they're very thin and conservative. We don't prep your teeth a lot, which is nice. We keep them nice and healthy. And uh, they probably give you the very best result. You know, if you want the real Hollywood look, that's what you want. You say it changes people's lives. How so? I I've had patients tell me that they got married from the work I did on, on them, that they, their future husband, this one gal, said, I came up to you, be like we talked about earlier, because your smile was so great, I was attracted to you. All right. And um, everybody that's ever done it, uh, is 100% happy they did it and what their result. Okay, good. So, now you brought photos. Oh, what are we looking at in these photos? Well, every case here is an interesting case and it, every one of them is, is a pleasure to have done. I'm lucky to be able to have the privilege of making these people look so good because it just brings so much joy into their lives and they, they just, it's, it's a little hard to explain, but every one of them says, boy, John, Dr. Sullivan, I wish I'd done this years ago. <laughs> but part of the reason is they just don't know what can be done, or maybe they really have some real issues and they're a bit, little embarrassed to come in. And I always try and make that person feel really self-assured. Go, you know, you're welcome here. I'm glad you're here. You're in the right place. I'm here to help you. Don't worry about what you think your teeth look like. Do they think you're going to judge them? Is that what? what? I, th I think certain people. Like guilt trip them? Why don't you brush yeah. and floss? and? Yeah. Yeah. How come you didn't come sooner or something? You, you can't. You have to say, I'm glad you're here. I can help you. So people that come in and they say, I mean, what do they say on the console? Doctor, you've never seen anything like this before. Or this is the worst I, you've ever seen. I have heard that frequently. And in, in the next words, I am so embarrassed that I've let myself go this long. And the next words out of my mouth every time are, I'm so glad you're here. I can help you. you really? I can't help you until you walk in the door. So let's take a look at your photo. This is one of these people who came in. His wife sent him in because she didn't like the way his two central teeth look. One was a little longer. They look pretty good right there, by the way. Uh, well, one's a little tiny bit longer, but you don't see many other teeth. And that's the Those problem. are the only two. That's, you see two. That's the problem is, is, is you don't see any other teeth. So anyway, this is what we call a classic collapsed bite. You don't even see his lower front teeth. Can't see the lower teeth. So much wear and misalignment that the teeth really need to be reconstructed. That's got to be rare, though, because you don't see that. Oh, actually, you see quite a bit of it. And this is a pretty extensive one. I never but, see it. But, well, they're not smiling. <laughs> they're okay. Hot. They're hiding out. <laughs> all right, all right. But, so you say that the people that are walking around Arizona where you are, and they're not smiling, they look like they're moody or in a bad mood, maybe they don't like their smile. That's oh, possible. The people, when I, it's, when I restore people and give them these beautiful smiles, it takes them some months to learn how to smile again. Okay. They have trained their lips to hide their teeth. So with this guy, when you look at this guy over to this before with the mustache, do you see the end result? I mean, do you get kind of excited? Oh, I can see it instantaneously. That's just the, that's the gift that you have of being able to really look at somebody and know where you're going to go with it instantly from all your training. And so what did you do for him? And, and, and I've been doing these for years. I've been doing these for 20 years. So it's not like my first rodeo. Okay, you know? okay, so what did well, you do? Well, for him, we came up with a plan. We were going to open his bite up because so much of his biting surfaces had worn down okay. extensively. So we were gonna make his teeth like they should be before they wore down. That made them longer on the top and longer on the bottom, all his back teeth. That gave all me right. room in the front to do veneers on all his front teeth and give him a perfect smile. I added some length to all of his teeth here as wow. you can see wow Let's what a result this. now you see all of his teeth from from the corner of his mouth to the corner of his mouth and he's he he and even his eyes smile better now what does a guy like that say when it's all done he's a bright guy and he, very sharp kind of an engineering does he shake your hand does he say you know this is great well the women cry is that right every time they get the mirror they look at it they cry every time I mean, pretty much. Okay. And a guy like this, 
just their smile and they look you in the eye and they, they, they go, you know, thanks, Doc. It looks great. I wish I'd done this 10 years ago. <laughs> okay. Every time. This is a more typical case. We see this quite a bit. All right. Um, worn teeth. They're pretty flat. They're discolored. And they don't look youthful at all. You okay. know, it makes her look older. And right. she doesn't like it and she knows it. Do they tell you? What do they tell you on the consult? Like what, I mean, what's their biggest gripe? Like you, somebody like this. It's usually color is the biggest thing that they see. They start to see, I, you know, I went to a family reunion. My sister had her teeth bleached and she looked good. And I, I want to get that. I want to get them wider. And then they might not really realize that their teeth are that worn. And that's where you have to, you know, show them. And sometimes we'll even mock up these cases right on their teeth by adding a little bit of bonding onto it to show how much more teeth they should display. Okay. And that's a very artistic thing that I love to do. I love to mock cases up. I'm like gonna, a sample type of a smile. You are wearing your smile, and that way we can determine how long to make your teeth so that the amount of teeth di that you're going to display is adequate. Okay. It, it's all, you know, Julia Roberts, right? Yeah. Teeth ear to ear, and people want that look. And So with her, what would you do? Well, with her, it, it was a pretty straightforward case. Uh, we didn't have to change the bite, which was good. We kept the teeth in the same occlusion to her, but we were able to lengthen her teeth using veneers, upper and lowers. Um, Let's take a look at the them. I mean, look at the difference this made in her smile. She looks beautiful now. It is a big difference, yeah. And, you know, her teeth are longer. They're much wider. Her smile is much bigger because she's not afraid to smile. So she shows even more teeth. And you know, this, I always feel like I could spot veneers walking down the street, but this is, I mean, it looks pretty natural. Oh, really. yeah. And I'm not trying to endorse you, by the way. I always say, you know, these are, and people need to know, these are real interviews, okay? And, uh, but there's definitely a noticeable difference here in, in credibility. She almost looks in the after, and for anybody watching mm -hmm. this, I think they would agree with me that, that they look more sophisticated, almost more, in, a, a, a perception of more intelligent, and all you did was their teeth. Oh, she's youthful, sexy, and she ended up getting married. Her husband came up to her at a social event and said, I love your smile. And they've been married now, this is probably 10 years ago. She told you this story? Oh, absolutely. That's good. Absolutely. And he's my patient now. <laughs> so. Did you have to fix his smile up too now so they match when they go out? <laughs> she said, I want to look a little better. Okay. <laughs> but no, they, they both look really great. But these cases are extremely rewarding. And uh, I... I put my heart and soul into these cases to make sure that they get a perfect result, and they do every time. It's, you can almost always guarantee a patient they'll be totally happy with what you do. Is that right? Absolutely. Yeah, are you ready to see some more of these All cases? Right. This okay. is an especially rewarding one, because this gal is so nice. And this is how she walked in. She didn't like the color of her one front central tooth. It was kind of dark. And she had one tooth that was her canine that was sticking out kind of forward. On the right side? Okay. On the right side. You can yeah. kind of see, see that little snaggly tooth there. <laughs> okay. And uh, she's a good looking gal. And, you know, I said, I think we can do something for you here. And we came up with a plan. And it, this is a little bit of instant orthodontics, which is another little trick I is have. Is that her right there, by the way, in that other photo? Is that her? Yes. That's a close up. Let's take a look at this. Okay. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Now we'd have whitened her teeth. Okay. Because one of the things that makes all these veneers and stuff look so natural is they're translucent. The light is going through them to the underlying tooth, so you want to get it lighter. Okay. And that gives it, it life. If you have a crown that's not very translucent, the light reflects off it, that's when you can see a veneer 10 miles Interesting. away. Interesting. Yeah. It's, it's a technique that the labs and everything use. So okay. anyway, this is her final result here now. Oh, wow. Look at the difference it made in her appearance. It's dramatic. It is. Her it is. eyes even smile in that next okay. picture. Yeah. Now, this is her first phase of treatment. I, 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 we are going to add more on the back teeth to widen her smile out. Remember I said the Julia Roberts smile? A lot, okay. of, a lot of gals like that. They want that wide So what's wide wrong with that? I mean, it looks good now. Look at the corners of her mouth. Yeah. Once you get past the, the eye teeth, you don't see anymore. 
I uh, see. Okay. In, in, in an ideal smile, you can see those teeth back there. All the way across. Oh, yeah. And it, it makes a big difference. It gives you a much wider, larger smile. And that's what people want. And, uh, and her, so she had to be thrilled with this oh, transformation. You can see it on her face. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. it's, her expression tells it all. And my I, mean, yeah, I mean, I'm looking at your face with it. I can't help but pick up on, I mean, you actually like this. I mean, you, yeah. like when you drive home and you have a good day or whatever, I mean, oh. I mean do you go home and talk about this too? Yeah. I, I, sometimes I'll be doing a case and I'll take my camera out and I'll text my girlfriend a picture of a case I'm doing. Are you serious? Yeah. I'm going, yeah. You're that into it. That's good for you, by the way. Oh, no. We're, we're totally, and, and most of the colleagues that are doing this high end, you know, very, sophisticated cosmetics are all the same. Very passionate, really stoked guys. So you tell the they're... patient, hey, I got to send this photo to my yeah. my girlfriend because... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I said, hey, can I can I send that to a couple people right now? <laughs> Good for you. Good for yeah, you. Thanks for technology, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's very, very interesting. So, okay. So now, uh, and we have time for probably a couple more. Oh, great. But, but this is life changing, as you say. Because and it doesn't have to be expensive. I think that that's your that's your message. Oh. It doesn't have to be expensive. No, there are some entry level things, but usually once somebody does something entry level like bleaching, then all of a sudden they go, well, I want this tooth to be a little longer, and I want it to show a little bit more. So it's kind of they start progressing up right. to what you want. Although some people will come in and say, okay, just give me the Hollywood smile right now, bring it on, <laughs> you know, but you have to educate them too. And okay. these mock-ups that I do are really a tool that helps me to get cases perfect because- A mock-up means you're actually putting stuff on their teeth yes, so they can see what they're gonna look like ahead of time. Especially, right? Randy, to okay. close gaps and to lengthen teeth. And most of our cases are lengthening teeth because people are getting older, they're keeping their teeth and they're wearing them down. And you know, that's, you, you know, you're not doing this on 30 year olds. It's usually generally older people. Okay. Yeah. Now, now these uh, same day smiles, what category of, of patients? Oh, I've got a, I have a couple of those to show you. Yeah. T yeah let, me let, me, let me show same you. Same day. Cause this is brand new. Okay. Okay. They didn't have these a couple years ago. They are prefabricated veneers. We have a box of them. They're small, medium, and large, and I can adjust them to the correct and length. And sand them down yeah. right there and there. Yeah. Okay. And, and they come white, whiter, and stupid white. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so this is a great story. Okay, okay. This gal comes in. All right. Goes, Doc, I'm getting married in 10 days, and I want to look great. I mean, I want my wedding pictures to be the best in the world. So I said, whoa, did you ever come to the right place? Because I'll bet nobody else up here in the White Mountains has a box of these that can pull them out. <laughs> so I go get the box and I'm putting them on her This key. is the box of veneers, like yeah. these, these like snap yeah. on and she, or and she's, glue on. Yeah, they're, they're individual ones and I figure out which size I think will look best and we have a little paste we can put on. We start putting them on like six or eight teeth and her, it's wow, and, uh, you know, we're, we're not even close to done. So anyway, <laughs> the smiling okay. bride, and you can see the unbelievable result she yeah, got. Yeah, when you look at the teeth in the before and after, I mean, there's a big difference, obviously. A little uh, longer, yeah. much wider, much wider. So she had an answer right now for what, uh, that she could afford too, because I, uh, I think it would And this been, is like 80% less than what veneers would cost. On it's all a fraction, teeth. you know, okay. I would say about- More than half off. Oh yeah, of a full set of veneers. Yeah, about a third. Okay, you know, just to give you a general idea, people can afford it if they want it. They so can all walks of life. I mean, you've got business people doing this. You've got just regular folks yeah. doing this. Here's another same thing. By the way, is it men and women? Yeah. Here's a guy. Okay. Okay. He's he's a guy who's tried to bleach his. Some teeth don't bleach. Okay. You know, we we all they claim they all bleach, but some teeth don't bleach. So we. We've got these non cases teeth. that no matter what we do, they could put the trays in for 24-7. They're not getting light. <laughs> okay, light. okay. So uh, you have to go to veneers. On, so let's take a look at this guy. So, And here's a typical guy that comes in that's maybe about 60 years old, and he's tried to bleach, and the teeth 
don't look that good. He's not happy with them at all. He wants to improve, and he, he can stand for a lot of improvement, and this is where we ended up with him when we ended up putting same-day smile veneers on them. So that's the same day. Huge difference. I mean, I mean, so they go in there like an appointment. Yeah. Saying, hey, doc, what can I do? And they can literally walk out with the, yeah, they're, these veneers I, that yep. you have in a box in the back. Yeah. I got a small, medium, and large, <laughs> white, wider, and widest. But that's and, like the, the, the affordable version. I mean, that's because you do some high-end veneer cases as oh, well. Oh, yeah. But, but we're talking about for people really on a tight budget that, that maybe their teeth aren't responding to whitening. This is a great option. Oh, absolutely. Is that right? Okay. I think we'll see more of this because of the affordability in, in today's economy. So would you say there's thousands of people in your town alone that could benefit from this kind of a thing? Oh, yeah. I've, I've just started doing it, and I've already done a half dozen cases. Is that right? Okay. I mean, about one a week right now. And um, I, I think the demand will be there for quite a bit more. He was extremely happy. He commented to me that he had never liked his teeth, but now he does. Good. You know, Good. And that's just heartwarming when I hear those comments. So there's a lot of people out there that don't like their teeth? Oh, absolutely. I, I, I Is think it their fear of the dentist? Is it the money? Is it both? I, I don't know if so much of it is fear. I think a lot of it is just uh, they need to get proactive. Do something about it. If you okay. don't like your smile, go to the dentist. We have affordable options. Start with bleaching. Get a little bonding. Go to veneers if you want them, but you can have a perfect smile. And you, you'll never regret making that move. It's just like, I want to get in shape. You go to the gym, you get on a diet, you get proactive. Same thing with your teeth. Okay. It'll benefit you the same way. Good. You'll feel better about yourself. Good. Maybe you'll exercise more. <laughs> okay, okay, we have time for a couple more. Okay, this I want to show you because this is a new thing out that's called Snap-on Smile. Now, lovely lady. All right. You can see she's missing teeth in the front, and she's not smiling a lot, and they're discolored. So we did what's called a snap-on smile. We take a mold of their teeth, and then we send it to the lab, and they make this snap-on smile that goes over the existing teeth. And you just take them on and off, like, like those Invisalign they, trays or like a whitening trays? Yeah, but they're very small. They're real thin, and they're really strong, and you can get years and years of service out of these. You, you can eat with them? Yeah. They, they hold on, you can eat, you can function, you can talk with them, and they're very affordable. So you Snap can, on smile. You can see the result. Look at her eyes, how happy she is. So that. somebody watching this, they've got a, some big thing going on on the weekend. They could go into you, you take molds. I guess it sends out for a week or so. Yeah, five days. Five days, come back. Interesting. Put, put them in. Very easy. It, it, it's, and that's it, a lot less expensive than veneers. Th th this is not a technically hard thing to do compared to the other things I do, but it's just as rewarding because this is what this person could afford. And they walked out of there happy with their smile. Now, when she sees it on that mirror for the first time, I, very emotional? Just like most of the women, they usually cry. Okay. Usually brings tears to her eyes. I almost, do you ever get choked up? I mean, you've been doing this a long time, but do you ever, I mean, every once in a while, you see them so happy, you can't help but I just get kind of fight it a little bit. I get ecstatic. You get ecstatic. I get stoked. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, wow. Okay. So I, got, I got this gift that I can give to people that improves their lives. And, and it's a wonderful thing to be able to do it. You know, this is good. You know, you know, the public, you know, I used to, when I first, you know, I've, our show airs all over the country. And I've been, we've had the show now for almost 14 years. But every once in a while, I meet a guy that seriously loves it. And they're always, you know, whether it's a knee surgeon, plastic. I mean, some guys just absolutely love it. I yeah. think you're one of those guys. Yeah, well, the nice thing is you can see what you did. You know, you get that immediate gratification of seeing what you did. And, okay. And you, and you know when you did well. And, and, you know, your goal is not to be good, not to be great. Be the absolute best. And, and give these patients the absolute ultimate result that they could have. Good for you. And we Good. do it every day, all day long. Every day. So you see transforming lives every every yeah. week, every day. Oh yeah, certainly several a week. And sometimes you're in the middle of a case and you take a picture, you ask their permission and send it to one of your dental friends. Yeah, I send it to, yeah. I send it to somebody in the field that works with me or because you're excited about it. Absolutely. Good, good, good. Do you see the people when they come back like for follow-ups or cleanings where they're oh. just acting differently? 
oh, yeah. because of the self-esteem improvement? It's, it's really rewarding to see some of these cases that are 15 years old. They come in and they still look the same. They're still just beautiful. Like, that means you did their teeth 15 years ago. I'll go grab like my hygienists that are new, somebody that's been there maybe two or three years, and I'll bring them in the room and say, this is a case we did years ago, just to show them, you know, the result is holding up. And that has to do with the occlusion and getting their bite right. And, and, and if you do it well in the beginning, it holds up. Okay, you good. You know, that's good. The, the, the better you do and the better labs you use, the better your work is and the better it lasts. Okay, final message. We're out of time. Great stuff, by the way. Somebody watching this, they don't like their smile. What's your advice to them? What's their first move? Get off the couch. Dial us up. Come in for a free cosmetic consult. I'd love to see you. I'd love to help you out. You can be in the right place. I have the training to make anybody smile dramatically better. Good. And, and I have the passion to do it. It's right. tremendously, I, I, I'm so glad I became a dentist because I, I love my profession. Well, thank you for coming on the show. Good stuff. Yeah, thanks, Randy. Pleasure, really. You've been watching The Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. If you would like to learn more or for, find out more, watch this interview again online. You could go to our website at wellnesshour.com and put in Dr. Sullivan or Arizona Cosmetic Dentist. You'll find him there. Also, if you'd li like to leave a comment about the doctor on Twitter, it's uh, at the wellness hour is our hashtag at the wellness hour. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.